we're gonna be going over module scripts in this video uh, so a module script um, to put it simply is just a script that holds information such as functions could be tables arrays dictionaries um, whatever so and why we have these module scripts is so that we can access them easily from other scripts and it's also it also allows us to keep everything neat and clean um, because we can just have certain modules that do things and then our scripts won't be so long um, yeah so let's make a module first I like to put my modules in replicated storage uh, I think there's a few places you can put them but I've never put it I've never put them outside of replicated storage that's just where I like to put them so we're gonna go with cool functions that's what we're gonna name our module so let's go ahead and be consistent we're gonna name this cool functions as well cool functions and let's create a function so what we have to do is let's say first off let's say we did a function like this print value oops uh, let's say we did a function like this and we just did print value we're also going to pass in information so value so we have an, our one argument let's say we did a function like this why is this not going to work if we were to go in and get our access to our module from this regular script that's in uh, server script service if we were to get access to our module from the script um, and we were to call this function why would it why won't it work is because we're not saying that this is a function that can be accessed outside of the module and to do that we have to put the name of our module before it so whatever this is up here and down here these both have to be the same we have to also put um, it before our function name so cool functions dot print value okay so now we can access this outside of the module if we if we took this away though we would not be able to access it so cool functions dot print value so now let's go ahead and get access to this module so we're gonna have uh, local cool functions to be consistent require game get service so now what we're doing is we're doing require and what goes in the inside these brackets is the location where our module is and if you're unsure where your module is you just have to look at the Explorer and go down to your module our modules and replicated storage so we're gonna do get service replicated storage boom we have access to our replicated storage now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna say wait for child cool functions so why I'm doing this why I'm saying wait for child is because uh, sometimes the game will load and the script will run but our module hasn't loaded in yet well that's gonna cause an error and it's gonna break our game and we don't want that to happen so that's why we do wait for child after we do replicated storage now to admit, to not make this so long what we could do is we could say local replicated storage equals game get service replicated storage and now we can just have uh, replicated storage right here so that makes it maybe a little bit more clean if you guys want to do it that way I don't know it's whatever so now let's let's call our function so first we need to say cool functions now we can just put dot print you can do dot did I do a capital P I did not do a capital P so we can do print value and we're gonna say uh, 45 is the value and we get 45 we can say this is me using my module cool funks and we get this is me using my module cool funks so yeah module scripts really really awesome keeps it clean and now the good thing is is we don't have this function because sometimes our functions are gonna be super long super super long functions we're gonna have a crazy long function maybe um, you know 
or we're just going to have a ton of functions um, that are going to work together. And so that being said, instead of our main scripts that um, run on our game being super long, we can just have modules handle all that. And then we can have, you know, a few lines of code running the whole game from just our regular script. So that's why they're really useful. That's one, well, that's one reason I like them. I mean, there's multiple reasons why they're useful, but uh, yeah.